Hi, everyone from Motion VFX. I'm really excited to present you our most popular M Title pack, M Title Cinematic, and now it is available for DaVinci Resolve on Mac and PC. M Title Cinematic is a pack of 50 cinematic captions that will add stunning title animations to your projects. Let's see how it is fast and simple to add and customize high end movie typographies in DaVinci Resolve. M Title Cinematic is fully optimized for the edit page where you will have access to all the features. Here, you can see my project with only the footage and some transitions. Let's add some great titles. Once you've purchased and installed your pack, you will find the titles in the FX library in the title section. All the M title cinematic elements will be in the fusion list. As I've mentioned before, you will find 50 animated presets with unique animations for each title. You can preview titles by moving the cursor over the preset. If you like one, on the right you can click on the star to add the title as favorite. You will get a direct access on the left to this title. To add a title to your project, you just have to drag and drop it inside your timeline from the list or from the favorite section. I will click on the title to select it in the timeline and I will open the inspector. Inside the inspector, you will have access to all the parameters you need to customize your title. You can enable or disable this title. With the in and out checkboxes, you will be able to activate or disable the animation in and out. Here, I will switch off the animation out and I will adjust the duration of the title to match with the first clip. In the inspector, you will have a direct access to modify the title and the subtitle. For both titles, you will be able to adjust the settings independently. Here, for example, I will modify the font. I will select the Barlow Condensed font. I will also adjust the subtitle font. To have a direct access to all the parameters, I will click on the down arrow on the top right to get the full height of the interface for the inspector. So I will select the same font and I will keep the regular type. In order to get a consistent, nice and smooth teaser, we use one or maximum two different font styles. With the background settings, you will be able to adjust the opacity and the color of the background element. This is very useful when you have a white title with a bright background layer. You can adjust the position of each title independently inside the inspector. But you can also do it inside the viewer. You just have to display the fusion overlay inside the viewer. Then, you will see on-screen controls that you can move to adjust the position of the two titles. To reset the position or any parameters, you have two options. You can double-click on the name of the parameter, or do a right-click on the parameter and select Set to Default. You can also modify the overall position, scale and rotation directly inside the viewer by selecting the Transform tool. To be more accurate, you will have access to the transform parameters inside the settings tab. I will reset everything first, then I will reduce the overall size with the zoom parameter, like this. To remove the overlay, you just have to click on the transform tool icon. Each preset has their own in and out animations. For this project, I would like that the out animation will match with the dissolve from the edit. So to polish the end of the title animation, I will add a cross dissolve transition. To quickly do it, here a tip. Click on the cut, then do a right click. DaVinci Resolve will offer you to apply a cross dissolve with various durations. I will select 12 frames and adjust the transition with the background footage. And we are finished with our first title. Let's add the second one. For this one, I will add the preset number 4.
I will adjust the duration and this title will make the link between the two clips below. In the inspector, I will modify the two text. I will reduce the size and set the value to 0.6. Like before, we'll add a cross dissolve at the end to match with the background layer. For the subtitle, I will select the preset 30, as this one will teach us important information. First, I will customize the text. Then I will reduce the global size and the position. We can see that there is a problem with the S letter, the last one. The opacity animation doesn't affect the S. This issue comes from the fact that DaVinci Resolve doesn't manage very well multiple line title. But to correct this, you will see it is very simple. In fact, you just have to add a space after the last letter and all the letters from the world will be part of the animation. So we can check the animation now. Perfect. For the last title, I will select the preset number 2, as the animation in and out match very well with the C footage. I will adjust the duration. Modify the text with the right font. Then I will reduce a little bit the global size. To conclude this tutorial, one last tip. I will add the preset 43 to this clip. This one has great animations in and out and a slow motion in between. But what if I need or I want to change the speed of these animations? This is what we will see now. DaVinci Resolve provides great tools for speed changes. The only problem, these tools are available only for the clips. You can't use them directly on titles. But there is a quick turnaround. In fact, you just have to transform your title into a clip. To do so, we will create a compound clip with our title. I will name it Title Clip. Now we'll have access to all the speed options like the global speed. Here I would like to modify not all the clip, but some parts. So I will use the Retime Controls that you can activate also by the short key Command plus R. We are now in the speed change mode. We can see the blue arrows and below we have the 100% that indicates that we are at normal speed. There is a little down arrow on the right of the 100% that will give us access to some options. The first one is add speed point. A speed point is like a virtual cut that will affect only the speed. We can see that now we have two parts with two speed controls. So for example, I can ask to modify the speed on the first part. I will double it. And now the animation in is faster. If we want to change the speed between the animation in and out, we will need to add a second speed point just before the animation out. Now we have three parts, so we can accelerate the animation in the middle to 800%. Of course, it will reduce the global timing of the title. If you want to keep the same duration for the clip, you can ask to create a freeze frame and then adjust the right duration to the title. There is no transition between the various speed, so we need to display the retime curves. There are two types of curves, the retime speed and the retime frame. These two curves are connected. They are representing the speed of the title in two different ways. Let's see the retime speed. This one represents the various changes of the speed with the different values we've added. As we can see, it goes from one value to the next, no transition. If we want to smooth the transition between the different values, we will have to select the curves and we can see some points. I will select one and click on the Bezier option so it will smooth automatically the transition between the two values. If you play with the tangent, you can smooth more or less the transition.
the real-time frame curve represents also the acceleration inside the title. Higher the gradient of the slope is, faster is the animation. If you hide all this information, there is a little speed icon to tell you that your title gets some speed animation. With Command plus R, you can display it at any time. Ok, let's go back to our project. I will unmute the audio track and we are ready to export our project. As you just seen, M-Title Cinematic is a perfect solution to raise the quality of your production and at the same time, easy to use and fully customizable. M-Title Cinematic Pack is now available for DaVinci Resolve and to get more information about it, I invite you to visit motionvfx.com. Thanks for watching, ciao ciao, bye bye.